the realm is hostile. It's a hostile ground. It says, I send you a sheep among wolves. The whole world lieth in wickedness. So to prevail, you must be violent. You must be violent. Part time. He says the flame of the altar, never let it go out. Don't, don't, don't accommodate it. Let fire be there all the time. That's the only way. The only way to survive in a time like this. Everything you see, listen to me, I beg you to God. Everything you see, everything you are seeing physically, everything that you can see, you can relate with in the physical world, has an alternative identity in the spirit world. Just give me your attention, let me share something with you. Why do men go to bed, sleep, and they will see another version of themselves? The person that they saw in that dream that they pursued until they catch and they locked up in a cage. Then this one that is different from the person that was running because your physical body is on the bed. Nobody is touching the bed. The spirits that are fighting, they are not disturbing this physical side. The Bible says, why we look not on the things which are seen? Because this one you are seeing is temporal. They know where they will go and touch something from and it will affect this one you, you are seeing. Spirits know where to play their card from. Why do men go to bed and a strange spirit comes with a syringe and says this is HIV, injects the, the identity of that person that is not the physical body, then you wake up into illness because if they adjust it from there, it must happen here. It says through faith we understand that the words were formed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Anything you see, they did not design it from what you are seeing. He says, men move in a realm where the building block is spirit materials. If they make you stop praying, they have cheated you. It's only prayer that is the vehicle you can use to journey to where realities are better from. And you, you will peep into five years to come. You will see that they, they planted sickness in your family you saw one of your child sick you have not even married yet but you can enter your family ahead prayer can give you access into a portion of time called tomorrow you can join into tomorrow if you tarry long enough then you go and cancel all of the evils there the bible says whatsoever you bind whatsoever you bind please pray for one more minute this one is for you pray and say give me power stay in power I don't know what happened I don't know how you lost your ability to parry how did you become a victim how did you become a victim of circumstance and wickedness how did you become a victim now you are on the receiving end brother go on the offense there is power on your inside 